In this video, we're going to add a new function to our utility class, which is called has token expired. So to generate email verification token, I will use the same JSON web token library and that JSON web token will have an expired date. So this function will be to check if that expired date is still valid if it has not expired. So let's go into utility class and I think we have it inside of the shared package. So this is the shared package and here's utility class and I have prepared a code snippet which I'm going to paste here and walk you through. Let's import claims which comes from JSON web token package and let's import JWTS which also comes from JSON web token package. Now let's import security constants, which is our own class. And we have it inside of the security package. And let's import date, which will come from Java util. Okay, so we have classes imported. So once again, to generate the email verification token, we will use JSON web token. And we have done it already when we worked with Sprint Security to generate authorization header when user logs in. So now uh, same uh, JSON web token libraries are being used to take the token which we receive as a method argument and then decrypt it using the same token secret key with which this token was created. Now we don't have the token created yet, we do not have that function, but when creating email verification token, we are going to use same encryption key which we store inside of the security constants class and I think we actually store it inside of the property. So let's go inside of the uh, token secret function. Here we go. So this is our security constants and inside of security constants we have this public static uh, string get token secret which reads the token secret from um, the application properties. So let me open resources and here we have application properties and this is our token secret with which we encrypt and decrypt tokens in this project. Okay, so let's go back to our utility class. So this line of code will take the token, will decrypt it with the token secret that we have and will get its contents inside of the claims object. Now from that claims object we can get different set of information like for example, we can get the expiration date. So if I hit dot here, we can get expiration date, the shoot at, and different other uh, methods. So we will get the expiration date, and that will be the date set inside of that token. And now we will take today's date, like we will create a date object, which will be equal to now. And then we will use the function, which is called before, which is a part of date object. We'll simply compare the two dates and if before returns true, then the token has expired. But if before returns false, then the token date is still in the future and the token has not expired. Okay, so you can pause this video, you can type in the content of this function. We are still going to debug it when we actually run the code and check the token expiration date. So let's save this now and go to user service implementation. And there is no underlining. Our function to verify email token is now ready. And we can continue to the next video.